there's this transformation happening. This container terminal is part of that. We're very excited about it. All we can see is in a couple of years, we're going to have a container terminal. We'll be having trucks roll in and containers going out on rail. What better picture could you want? Kaurau is situated in a strategic location in the Eastern Bay of Plenty. The district has multiple well-established industries that draw on the natural resources in the area, like geothermal energy and large commercial forestry plantations on its doorstep. The industries in Kaurau joined forces to form a group called Industrial Symbiosis Kaurau, or ISK. ISK um, was set up almost, I think, almost seven years ago, and the vision for ISK was really to take these segregated businesses and see in a cluster environment how we can make them operate more efficiently and more effectively to make them more competitive globally. Most of the industries in the cluster export large volumes of their products. A common challenge is to have an efficient and cost competitive transport system. Kaurau is 90 kilometres from the port of Tauranga with a good state highway network and the area is also serviced by Kiwi Rail's East Coast trunk line. Most businesses in the Eastern Bay of Plenty move their goods by truck. Although rail was expected to offer a more cost-effective solution, no single business was large enough to commission this service. Moving goods by rail requires a central terminal where products are delivered by truck and where specialised equipment is available to pack containers and load them safely onto rail wagons. This became the responsibility of Glenn Sutton. With container terminals it's all about economy of scale. We have quite a variety of, of potential product that can come through. So we, we have the kiwi fruit, we have the, the lumber, um, wood products. The establishment of a container terminal had to be good for everyone, including local businesses, the prospective container terminal operator, Kiwi Rail and the Port of Tauranga. ISK approached Scion to assist them in a scientific study to establish whether a centralised container terminal would be feasible. We engaged Scion to, to do an individual independent feasibility study of the container terminal and um, the value that they brought was not just the capability to be able to look through the whole supply chain and model the efficiencies that we can achieve through the container terminal in Kawaro, but they were also able to aggregate an enormous amount of data across multiple suppliers. Scion's value chain optimization team interacted with all the large exporters in the Eastern Bay of Plenty, gathering data on export volumes, peak times and any special export requirements. A discrete event simulation model was used to model and optimize different logistics alternatives. Discrete event simulation models have been used worldwide to optimize processes and flows, such as in airports, factories and even hospital services. The container terminal operation in Kawaro provides the opportunity to remove up to 18,000 truck movements a year from the Bay of Plenty roads. This has an obvious benefit by moving that cargo on rail from a safety perspective for road users, uh, but also from an environmental perspective. Yeah, we're really excited by the opportunity. It's, uh, we think it's going to really uh, create some more uh, export volume uh, from various uh, manufacturers and exporters through to the port, and we're obviously really excited that uh, rail is going to be a part of that. Potoaki Trust, a local Maori landowner, has earmarked part of their property for the Kawaro container terminal and for other new industries. The land is easily accessible and close to the existing Kiwi Rail line. The container itself terminal will, will employ people directly and indirectly, but because it's such a great enabler, there's all of these uh, consequential benefits of further employment through these other industries who are coming because we have a container terminal. So that, those social aspects um, are very important for us. This is adding value to our people. I can't stress that enough. Mm -hmm.